Don't do this when you make a deposit in QuickBooks Online. Hey, everybody, Happy New Year. It's the first day of 2023. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to start off the year with this video on what you don't want to do when you make a deposit in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so here we have sample company file in QuickBooks Online. This is called Craig's Design and Landscape Services, and everybody watching this video can access this sample company file, even if you don't have a QuickBooks Online subscription. So I encourage you to go in there and play around with it if you're thinking about getting QuickBooks Online. Okay, now what I'm assuming in this video is that when you receive a payment from a customer, so I'm gonna go over here and say new, and we say receive payment. I am assuming that you are depositing to undeposited funds, all right? Now, here's why this is important. And in, in the real world, you know, day-to-day -day business, let's say that you get uh, checks that come in the mail, you get other payments. Uh, normally this has to do with checks. So you receive a payment, you send an invoice to somebody, they send you a check. You're going to go in here, you're going to say receive payment, you know, let's say it's Amy's Bird Sanctuary and it's invoice 1021, $239 and we received this payment, okay? Now, if you bunch all of your deposits into one deposit, okay, so, you know, you could get five checks in the mail on Monday, maybe you make a deposit at the end of the day of those five checks, you could get five checks Monday, five checks Tuesday, five checks Wednesday, and maybe you just collect these all week and record them in QuickBooks as received so that offsets the invoice, but then you don't make the deposit until Friday. So the point being that you're not gonna be going in and, and depositing every single check by itself, okay? So that if you are saying, okay, deposit to checking, and you say $239, but this is lumped in with a lot of other checks, okay? You're gonna have a very hard time reconciling your checking account at the end of the month. And the reason is, is because you won't see this one deposit for $239 come through on your account statement because it was lumped in with other checks. And so you wanna mirror that in QuickBooks. You wanna mirror those bank deposits in QuickBooks to make sure that when you go to reconcile, you're gonna see that lump sum deposit of those five checks or whatever it is, all come in at one time. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you reconcile. Okay, so we receive this payment and it's going to undeposited funds, which is basically just a holding account. All right, so we're gonna hit save and close. We got the $239 and now we're gonna to go to, let's say it's the end of that day, we got all our checks or the end of the week or whatever it is, and we're gonna go up to new and we're gonna say bank deposit. All right, so you'll see that, okay, during the week we received these three checks, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, Cool Cars, and Freeman Sporting Goods. And the total is 230152. All right, now if you're not depositing all 230152 at one time, then don't record that all of these were deposited. Okay, so this could happen, for example, if you get, you know, five checks on you know Monday and you get two on Tuesday, well, let's say you deposit all five on Monday, but you don't go into QuickBooks and show them as received, and then you go in and you, you, know, you get two on Tuesday, you deposit them in the bank, and you just go in and say, okay, deposit on deposit funds. So then at the end of the day, Tuesday, you're like, oh my gosh, I need to go in and put all these to my bank account. Well, if you do them all at once, you're gonna run into the same problem that I just described a minute ago, which is, you're gonna show a deposit in QuickBooks when you go to reconcile of 2301.52, but in reality, if these were the only two you deposited at one time, uh, that's 1914.52. So your account statement will show 1914.52, but QuickBooks will show 2301.52, and you're gonna to have to find that difference, which is the 387. So again, it's gonna get very confusing. So what you want to do, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to check off which ones are physically going to be deposited at the same time, all right? So let's say that you know all three of these were deposited individually. You're gonna say uh, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, 239 bucks, deposit to checking, 1123, and we're gonna say save and new. 
All right, and then we're going to check off this one because it was deposited by itself. And we're going to say save and new. And then you're going to go to Freeman and you're going to check that off. Okay, so that is if you deposit each of those individually. If it was one lump sum, check them all off, deposit the bank account. Trust me, you're going to make your life way easier at the end of the month when you go to reconcile your checking account. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, check out the link in the pinned comment uh, where uh, I have a link to the QuickBooks University Masterclass. Go sign up there. It's free. Uh, you will not regret it. Talk to you soon.